We're celebrating Father's Day a little bit early here on Nine News with our series called Life's Playbook. Tonight, Mike Kliss introduces us to new Broncos defensive tackle Christian Covington, whose football bloodlines run north of the border. Growing up in Vancouver, hockey is, of course, king. But for new Broncos defensive lineman Christian Covington, his time on the ice was short-lived. I, I did a little, and it got to the point when I was growing up that my feet outgrew the skates, and uh, I started just becoming a little bit more uncomfortable. I was, I'm a size 17, so it, uh, it was very hard to find skates in my size. But honestly, to me, um, it was always a dream of mine to play football, and obviously starting uh, with it starting with who my father was. His father is Canadian Football League Hall of Fame defensive end Grover Covington, who tormented CFL quarterbacks in the 1980s on his way to 157 career sacks while playing for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. He was very keen with me growing up watching his film. So now he used to, he got me early on, uh, he forced me forced me to watch his uh, his games and forced me to watch his playoff games. And so I was, back then I was just like, why are we doing this? But now I'm just like, you know what, Dad, thank you. I needed this. Were you able to watch him play at all uh, in your youth uh, in the Canadian Football League? Not personally. I wish, I honestly wish I had the pleasure to do that because of, you know, just the, the player he was. Unfortunately, he retired two years before him and my mom had me. Educating his son on how to play the game was one of the best gifts his father ever taught him. Uh, he never wanted to push me in to play football. He always wanted me to play on my own accord. Uh, but with that being said, uh, once I knew that I could get the ball rolling with this sport, you know, he was behind me. Him and my mom really were behind me 100% of the way. Christian continues to follow in dad's footsteps by extending his professional football career with the Broncos. Mike Kliss, Nine News.